Example number six, equations of parallel lines. Find the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line that passes through the point 2, negative 1 and is parallel to the line 2x minus 3y equals 5. So we need to find an equation that's in slope-intercept form that contains this point and yet is parallel to this line right here. Okay, so back to geometry. Uh, parallel. Let's just go over what what do or what are parallel lines. You guys are probably all very familiar with that. It's two lines that run side by side that never touch, right? So these two two lines right here. When you put these little arrows right there, that means that they're parallel. You probably learned that in, in geometry. So these two lines would be parallel. And one of the properties of parallel lines is this: is that if I said that this slope right here uh, was, let's just say, 1 over 2, okay, this, this line right here, line, line A, okay, then what does my slope of line B have to be if these two lines are parallel? 1 half, right? Good. So one conclusion that we can make right now is that we need to try to find an equation that's, that has this point that's parallel to here. So we know that this equation right here and the new equation that we're going to find, what can we say about both of their slopes? That's right, little Billy. They have to be the same, right? We know that both of these slopes have to be the same. So the process here is let's find the slope of this line. Let's find the slope. And then we're going to use that slope and this point to find our equation. Okay? Um, and actually, uh, let's, let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and find our slope. And the way that we find a slope of any line is we put it in slope-intercept form, right? So we're going to write this in y equals mx plus b because if we just look at the, the coefficient of x, then we know what the slope is. So let's take this guy, uh, 2x minus 3y equals 5, and let's go ahead and let's um, solve for y, right? So we're going to subtract 2x. Okay, so we get negative uh, 2x plus 5. And then I'm going to divide by negative 3. So we get uh, 2 thirds x uh, minus 5 thirds. Okay, so all I've done is I, I've isolated y. I added, subtracted 2x from both sides, and then I divided by a negative 3, which, which would make this positive and make this now negative. So look here. The only piece of information that we are interested in is this is what is this slope, okay? We don't care about that y-intercept because the only thing that we that parallel lines have in common is the, is the slope. So we know that our new equation that we need is going to have a slope, okay? It's going to have a slope of two-thirds. Maybe we'll go right here. So, so we're going to use the slope two-thirds, and then we're going to use the point two, negative one. Okay, this is how we're going to find our new equation that passes through this point and is parallel to this. And I know that this line is going to be parallel because they have the same slope, right? So let's now find uh, this equation right here. And what formula do you think we're going to use? That's right, we're going to use the point-slope formula because we have a point and we have a slope. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, right? I mean, that should make sense there why we're going to uh, do that. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So y minus negative 1 times my m, and then x minus 2. So notice what I've done. This is my x1. That's my y1. So I plugged in negative 1 in for my y1 right here, and I plugged in 2 for my x1 right here. And, of course, my m for my m right here. All right? Let's clean it up. y plus 1 equals 2 thirds x minus. If you multiply fractions, again, you just multiply the numerator with the denominator. So 2 times 2, that's going to give us negative 4 and then thirds. And then lastly, let's just go ahead and uh, subtract 1 right there. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So y equals 2 thirds x minus, 
again, like you need to get, if you're going to subtract one, you've got to have a common denominator. So you just multiply that top and bottom uh, by three. So four minus three, one times three is three, is going to give us one and then a common, a common denominator of three. So we get our equation right here. So lo let's look at these two equations then. Okay, so we have this guy right here. We got this whole dude. And we get this dude right here. Does it make sense that by just looking at their equations, that both of these lines, when we graph them, because we'll graph them up here right now just to show that they're parallel, but doesn't it make sense that these two lines are parallel? And the reason why that it should make sense is because you should look at just one thing, the m and the m. If two equations have the same slope, we say that they are parallel. They don't have to have the y-intercept to be parallel, okay? They only have to have the same slope. So if you were to graph these right now, okay, and, and you don't have to do this here, so negative 5 thirds, that's like negative 1 point something right here, and you're going to go up to 1, 2, over 3, okay, so that line's going to look something like this. And this is just a, you know, just a rough, a rough sketch right here, and then the other one is... Uh, negative one-third and then up to a three so negative one-third is going to be a really small number like right here negative one-third and then it's going to go up one two one two three let's do it again one two one two three so this one's going to look like this okay so can we see here that these two lines are parallel yeah but they don't have to have the same y-intercept so one thing that I want you to get away from this, or what that I want you to take away from this is that parallel lines, okay, lines that are parallel have the same slope, as you can see here, but they do not have to have the same y-intercept, okay? And that's example uh, number six.